Doctor Keith Hillier joins me in the Melbourne studios. Keith, what a way to kick off this spring carnival. That had you cheering all the way down the straight and a fitting result. A very, a very good winner and a gallant uh, horse in defeat in Testarossa. Keith, what did you think of the run? And Redoute's choice was forced to lead. Testarossa always looked to have the drop on him. And then Redoute's ran off on the turn. Two brilliant rides. Uh, the pumper, Jimmy Cassidy, getting everything out of Redoute's choice when he was passed and probably by at least half a length by Testarossa. The word from the Testarossa camp this morning is that they'll decide tomorrow whether to press onto the Cox Plate. It's actually Damien Oliver's tip who rode Testarossa not to do it. He thought the horse was flat at the end of this trip, 1,600 metres. Tester Rossa Oliver's just waiting and waiting. Redoute's choice left the fence. There's the run for Tester Rossa if he's got enough. A line coming at them on the outside with pins. They reach the 200 and Tester Rossa sprinting very fast has moved up and has gone to the lead over Redoute's choice. Cassidy had to pull the whip and then pins. It's Tester Rossa clear though. Redoute's choice is coming again. Tester Rossa has to find. Redoute's digs. He lunges and wins. Redoute's choice beat Tester Rossa. Yes, he's had just uh, four wins, Keith. Three of them are Group 1. Now, the big question to both of you, can a three-year-old win the Cox Plate this year? Oh, this one can. He's equal favourite uh, with Ty the Knot for the Cox Plate, Bruce. And he's, uh, oh, Rick Hall Acey thinks he'll do the, the Cox Plate, the Derby, the whole box and dice and win $2,000 this month. Really? The well, lot. Rick thinks he will. What about you, uh, Max? You've got to be a bit uh, different, a bit special to win a Cox Plate as a three-year-old. Oh, no doubt about it. As Shane Dye said uh, in, in talking about the defeat of Tyler Knott, the Cox Plate is a different race. It's a tough race. The best stayer normally wins the Cox Plate. ...to gaze and also tie the knot. But Northern Drake, whose form in Melbourne is exceptional, led them up. Well, he's had four goes at 2,000 metres. Three in Melbourne where he won one, was runner-up to Champagne and the McKinnon. And when he finished second only to Might and Power in the Cox Plate. He stole this race yesterday. That's him in front with uh, Cooksley running them off their legs. Tie the knots wide into gaze go with, with, goes with him, takes him wider. But the leader runs the last three in 33.69 and the last two in 22.39. Nothing could have caught him. At the 250, he's two lengths now to tie the knot at Aerosmith running a bit of race. They haven't got to Northern Drake yet. Is there a boil over in the offing? I think so. He's three, four lengths in front. Tie the knot fighting out second and third with Aerosmith, but Northern Drake. Northern Drake has canned at home in a sprint and a run affair and beaten Tie the knot at Aerosmith. So, Max, you know him better than uh, Keith and myself. We just keep seeing a very good Northern Drake. Can he win the Cox Plate? Go one better. Northern Drake's got a very good chance in the Cox Plate, but they're not going to let him trot and canter in front as he did yesterday. Shocking to see that Marble Halls had to be destroyed last year's winner. Uh, there's a rideless horse in the right. Nina Haraka was big here. May go for the Caulfield Cup. She's got the white blaze trying to get through. Amram was pretty good. He was uh, a good win, and, uh, you know, he, on a good track, he's a decent horse. And what a difference a day made, because Amram revelling in the dry, as Tester Rossa did today in Melbourne. It's raining. Neither of these Group 1 races would have been won by those horses. So, uh, the all-important question, Cox Plate, we've been asking you for weeks and months almost. Are you sticking with Sunline, Keith, for the No, Cox Plate? I've changed. I'm going with Northern Drake. Max was in Melbourne yesterday. He must have had his back to the... ...to see how the track is. I do think it was a leader's track yesterday, and a leader's track again in the Caulfield Cup uh, next Saturday would make it very interesting. Oh, it'll be Sky Heights, a margin, maybe three, possibly four legs. Gee, thank you very much, Keith. That's a bit of confidence. Max, see you at Caulfield next Saturday. I'll certainly be there. You too, Keith. Terrific to chat to you both. We'll take a break on Sports World. Not too far away, Cathy Freeman, Cheryl McMahon and Loretta Harrop, three Australian world champions. Hey now, you're an Later on the show, the sports biggest newsmakers will join us. Hey now, you're a rock star. Get the show. Cathy Freeman will be here. Whoa. And hasn't Sherelle got a story to tell? Girl Talk on 7, Australia's Olympic Network. Get the show on, get paid.